Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Davis, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now about two years ago, I made a video showing how to simulate these digital triggers on a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller in Dolphin and represent them as GameCube analog triggers. Now that video was super outdated. I had a ridiculous British accent that I was doing as a bit for a school project that we were working on. And I wanted to just kind of remake it now. Now it's two years ago and I have better capabilities and all that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, as you can see here, we have Super Mario Sunshine loaded up as I felt it was, as I felt it was a really good representation of the differentiation between digital and analog triggers. So as an example, um, using the analog triggers, we can not only run around, but we can also stand and shoot. Standing and shooting is what would happen if you click in the trigger all the way. Just holding it down a little bit is what allows us to run around and spray. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this left bumper here as the GameCube controller doesn't have a left bumper to help simulate that differentiation. So here's what you do. Head into controllers up in Dolphin. Go to configure. Make sure everything, you know, is all set up. Uh, you got the right input and everything. Um, and this right here, R, this is what we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. And this is what you're going to do. Um, you're just going to right click it. I accidentally left clicked it there, but you're going to right click it and you get into this con configure control panel. Um, we're going to use this detect function to detect the right trigger and show us that that's button seven. Um, and we're going to hit select on that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with our left bumper and we're going to hit and not hit. Okay. And that's basically it. All you got to like, that's it. You could do this for any game you wanted. Um, I chose not to do it with the left trigger as that is what is used to ground pound. And if you were to have it set to where it was analog with just clicking in this left trigger, then it wouldn't register. It has to be clicked in all the way in order for it to register as a ground pound. Um, so that's what allows us to do that. But as you can see, we can run around. And then as soon as we click in that left bumper, we stop moving and we can do the up and down movement, which is what's useful in this game. So yeah, I know that was a pretty short video, but I wanted to just kind of put it out there and help anyone who's been having an issue or wondering how to do that, if there was a way to do that. And yes, it's very simple. So I hope I helped someone out there. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you, you already know what to do. Uh, you can check out some of my other stuff if you wanted, but with that out of the way, uh, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.